Okay, so I was going to review this product that my father-in-law bought. Uh, they're great people. They're really helping me out a lot here. Uh, this has been installed for about a week now. Uh, it's the Ream Halo. And that's what it looks like. You install it in your HVAC system. And it takes care of the whole HVAC system and the air circulating through the house. It kills bacteria, molds, and viruses. It reduces odors, particulate smoke, and VOCs. And VOCs are just uh, carbon-based, uh, excluding some carbons. Um, it's been recommended by lots of different places, include, including uh, the military. It kills 99% of sneezing germs within three feet. And the new zinc ions that it has attached to it kill 99% of viruses on surfaces. So, just what I've noticed. Uh, I, like I've said, I can't sleep with the M3 mask on at night. So I've been in pain, right? Well, we've had this installed for about a week. And gradually, every day, I've been waking up in a little less pain. Now, there are other variables to this. Um, the other variables are that I'm trying to sweat a lot, and I've been trying to, since I'm, and since I'm out of some pain with the mask, I've been trying to uh, lift some 20-pound weights, and I've been walking very fast, walking my son, so I'm trying to get my legs and my uh, chest and arms working out. Uh, I'm trying to get all my muscles uh, worked out gradually, because I believe... There's a lot of fat and toxins built up from the last three years uh, just in my muscles, in my joints, uh, from just being sedentary because I've been sick for so long. So I'm trying to take that next step. Uh, unfortunately, my mask uh, went out today. Again, I started putting it on, and I noticed that it's just... Uh, I get worse when I put it on now. And I got a comment about this. Somebody said every time I wore one of these uh, masks, I've got 3M, every time I wore one of these masks, I would get sicker. Well, I think the variables there are humidity and uh, also any exposure to any water vapor at all. So right now here in Texas, it's been incredibly humid. Uh, the last three or four days have been terrible. I made the mistake of walking it outside in it and having this on for about 10 minutes, and I thought, well, you know, we'll see. It's lasted about as long as it did last time, but again, last time it was exposed to water vapor too. So I'm just not quite sure. Uh, it lasted 15 days this time. I think it lasted about that amount of time last time. I'm going to test that again, and this time I'm getting filters that uh, don't uh, just deal with uh, VOCs and um, other chemicals, uh, but this one particularly is going to take care of uh, formaldehyde, which, uh, you know, I've, I've heard a lot of people with chemi chemical sensitivities have a particular issue with that. I definitely know I'm chemically sensitive now, so I'm going to go that way and I'll update you on how that, that goes. But so far, just this, these two products have been doing well for me. Uh, it definitely reduced the amount of pain and inflammation I'm in. Uh, it's not a silver bullet by any means. Um, it, you know, there's a lot of different variables uh, to getting well, and different people are going to have different variables depending on what kind of building you're in, uh, etc. So anyway, um, I'm going to review another product, hopefully within two or three weeks here. I'm going to buy it, and uh, I really kind of hope that this one is going to be a silver bullet. Uh, as far as I can tell, you know, I don't know about the house I'm in right now. There might be mold here. There might not. There's been some water damage. But the fact that I'm chemically sensitive to, I can't judge what's what necessarily. And unfortunately, a lot of you are in the same boat. So, you know... Again, no magic bullet, but we're just doing the best we can. If you've got any information for me, please share, because I talked to somebody yesterday who's been kind of down the same road I have, and they're seeing some different doctors as well, although I'm not sure that they ever went to a, a, a shoemaker certified doctor. But anyway, uh, God bless. I'll talk to you later. Please subscribe, leave comments, and uh, let's talk to each other and try and get through this together. God bless.